Hello. <laughs> Good morning. Good morning. Come in. <laughs> what's up? What's up? Dude, I'm so tired today. I know, man. I'm tired too. I didn't want to get up today either. I was like, man. But I got to. I'm committed. I had to commit to you, motherfuckers. At least some is. Yeah. You like that? Where have you been? Where have I been? I missed Out. you yesterday. Out. I was literally right there the whole time. The waiting. whole time waiting, like looking at the door. <laughs> just, like, you know, Every time a car roll by, you just, No, no you all seriousness. All right, I heard like a dark uh, car door close. I'm just like, damn. Like a dog waiting for their owner. Yeah, dude, I was waiting for <laughs> the entire time. <laughs> I'm tired because I got another practice later. Okay, how are we doing today, Justin? Man, I'm blessed by the best. So, what did you guys go over today exactly? I mean, we just saw it in the clips, but what were you working on? I don't know, I got punched a lot in the face while doing pad work. You would think it'd be the opposite, but... Uh, um, no, we worked on a lot of movement. I have a problem where I'm extremely aggressive and I stay right there. Um, my head movement's fine to a certain extent, but it's bobbing and weaving going under and uh, being able to circle. That's usually my biggest problem is even when I do circle, I don't pivot big enough to where that front leg is still there and they can attack that front leg, especially for a jiu-jitsu guy like my next opponent, or my last opponent really, shit, my last three opponents, but um, I gotta stop fighting jiu-jitsu guys. Um, I guess that's the moral of the story, but Working on a lot of movement and just making sure I'm in position the entire time to strike. And Dean does a really good job of, of keeping me accountable because he 
actually smacks me. He does hit me back. And uh, he makes sure that I'm really paying attention the entire time. And that's, that's the hardest part. I think the best thing about Dean, especially his pad work, is he doesn't, doesn't tell you what to do. Besides maybe like throw more than one jab, you know, two jabs, three jabs. He's just here. All right, cool. What am I doing? How do I hit the pads this way? I have to react just like I do in a fight. I see the openings. Oh, I can only hit the pads, hook cross, bop, bop. You know, so I do them that way. Or if he does here, okay, cool, bop, bop. That means one, two. Or he's, you know, coming here or, you know, different hand positions. So I always have to react on it. And that's the hard part is, it, but it's realistic. It's just like a fight. I have to react to what I see. I can't just be like, oh, hey, uh, can you put that left hand down and let me hit you in the face? You know, I have to really, oh, 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 open, bop, bop. Okay, be ready. Oh, damn, he's throwing a jab. Up, up, up. You know, so I always have to counter, be ready, and be on my toes. And uh, it's hard for me because I am, you know, technically known as a brawler. So trying to be more technically sound. Um, I guess Justin Gaethje versus Tony Ferguson is probably the best example. Um, so Dean is my Trevor Whitman. So um, just a different different aspect of it. Let me ask you a question just as for all of us non-fighters, like myself and the, major <laughs> and me. Right. And the majority of the viewers. When you're, when you're hitting pads with Dean just now, um, and he holds up his hand, and it reveals that little like circle, that target, is that what that is? Like a target? Like he's like a target revealing, like on a shooting range kind of? Yeah, when he, yeah, pretty much. When he puts his hands up, you know, when he's, you know, whatever, and then it goes, bop, I know the only way I can hit that, typically, is a right hand. So I know it has to be straight, it can't be arched. If it's here, then I have to throw an overhand right. If it's here, then I have to throw a hook, you know? So it's figuring out different hand positioning and making sure that, I have the right distance to land the most effective, uh, effective strike. Instead of, for example, you know, he's right here. I can't just do this. I have to back up and create more space. You know, so um, the the science behind punching, man, it, it gets difficult because everyone wants to brawl, especially in the moment. But it's it's trying to stay calm, and especially during pad work. I didn't start pad work until pretty much two years ago, really. Um, so even still now, two years later, my shoulders are still tense. I'm still. I like this sometimes, like, and I'm a lot slower instead of just being relaxed and going, bah, trying to see, bah, bah, and trying to be more relaxed instead of uh, trying to create everything super, super powerful because that's not the point of it. So you're, are you never trying to, just, just so I'm clear again, I'm like a five-year-old that can't fight. I'm huh. just like a five-year-old that doesn't grow. So, <laughs> you're so ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> what? So are you ever trying to like hit, like Dean's holding the pads for you. Are you ever yeah. trying to hit Dean? Um... Emotionally, yes. <laughs> um, physically, no. You know, obviously, my goal is to hit the target, and that's the pad. There, there have been instances where I have hit them or have come really close to hitting them, but that's just bad reaction on me, and that's really what it is. Martial arts is about control. You know, so being able to be so good at something that even right before you hit someone, you can stop it right away. Just like you see in animes or cartoons or whatever. It's like, set, you know, right there. And um, being able to react and know that I'm not hitting the right target, cool, I gotta hit this, or I gotta change my angle to hit this, because sometimes there'll be moments where Dean is throwing one twos, or you know I have to hit a one two, but then he muffs me and gets really, really close, and now either I have to back up, or if I do stay inside, I have to change my angle of my punch. So it becomes difficult, and I have I hit him a couple times, but he deserves it, uh, full extent. Yeah, man, it's, it, it really is hard to figure out sometimes when the punch is coming or when the opening is going to be there and where it's going to be there and how to hit it. So it's like all those different things and also making sure that you're not tiring yourself out the entire time. Again, like uh, Lomachenko is probably a really prime example. Or again, Gaethje versus Ferguson after, I think it was after the third round, he goes, you're throwing everything in every punch. Relax. Give him 20%. Give him 30%. Or he's like, take, take 10, 20% off your punches and just hit him. You don't have to rock him every single punch. You hit him so many times, eventually he'll go down. I mean, hell, look at my Alex Press fight. He hit me a hundred and, or he threw a hundred and like seven punches, landed a hundred and three, which <laughs> kudos to you. Not every punch was hard. There were definitely some hard ones, but that's what made my body deteriorate. And eventually my body gave out compared to just hitting with the haymaker. I hit him with one haymaker and yeah, I rocked him, but I didn't finish him. It's the same exact thing. So it's figuring out those little things to be able to go swallow your pride. You don't have to throw everything in every punch and tire yourself out in the first round. Relax, bye-bye, bye-bye, bye-bye hard you know so it's um it's a process it's definitely a learning experience so it sounds like you worked on timing today you worked on organic uh reaction mm -hmm. muscle memory we 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 work on a lot and it's usually around the same thing but we slowly progress we slowly add something in the one thing i do like about dean is uh he has that bruce lee mentality where it's like i don't fear a man who knows ten thousand moves or has practiced one move or excuse me has practiced ten thousand moves 
one time, I fear a man who's practiced one move 10,000 times because no matter what I do and how much, or no matter what you do and how much I tell you, like, hey, I'm going to hit you with this punch. I'm going to hit you, you know, because I'm just that good at it. Dean is the same way, especially with the ground stuff. For me, kind of catching up with jiu-jitsu compared to everyone else, especially my opponent, it's, it's drill, 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 drill. So even though you might have everything else better than me, this, I know. doesn't matter what belt rank I have. doesn't matter how much experience I have with anything in general, this move I'm going to hit no matter what. So it's drilling that, and for Dean, uh, or with me with Dean, it's just trying to drill that movement and, and know that I can be a boxer, I can move, I can have fun, instead of just being a brawler and being super aggressive all the time, I have to use what I've been given, and Dean gives me a lot of opportunity with that.